so I turned down the game volume a little bit and I actually I started trying to talk like through the loading screen and then I remembered that oh yeah I unplugged my mic so that I or my webcam so that I could put in my uh, flash drive because I made a thumbnail while I was at school because I got bored so the first episode was actually uploaded today and I'm gonna be taking some Your stuff money. fuck you what the hell is going on here Just get back and I'm getting robbed already. How did I miss that? Like seriously, ow, stop that. Can you jump up here? Well now bitch can't bitch can't do it. Just shut the fuck up. Anyway, um she just teleported. Um People have been yelling downstairs and everything like that. And then Brian was whistling, and that pissed me off, so I yelled at him, plugged back in my uh, webcam. So anyway, first episode of this was uploaded today at the time of recording this. And next Friday, I will be going to get my birth certificate again. So I went and got my social security card so that I would be able to get my license. And then I found out that, oh yeah, you need your birth certificate too. Well, I knew that already, but I found out we don't actually have it. So I needed my social security card and birth certificate. So next Friday, we're going to pick up my birth certificate. And I think I still have to tell my dad that I don't have school next Friday. I don't have school next Thursday or Friday or the Monday after that, and apparently they said that it was because of Easter, but I've never gotten school off for Easter, so that made no sense. Hello. Damn away a lot. Yeah, I'm encumbered. Elven warm hammer. Damn. Alright, drop anything that's not worth ten times its weight. Easily worth ten times. Worth ten times. Worth ten times. Uh, not worth ten. That's 78. This thing is heavy as hail. Um, not worth 10 times. Not worth 10 times. Not worth 10 times. Silver shit's not worth 10 times. Get rid of that. Alright, cool. It's not, he's got like four weapons around him. He just got owned. He was trying to uh, be like a weapons master or something. There we go. Oh, no. Give him that back. There we go. He died fighting. He had one... He had an axe in one hand, a bow in the other, a sword in his mouth, and then he had... That's just his dick. Alright, anyway, we're gonna be heading, um... To Wayne and Priory some more, but I want to go solo this crap, because I got a ton of shit on me. Because getting the meath... Or not the meath roll, the, uh... The chain mail, and... Everything. I think there is Mithril in this game, actually, but getting the chainmail and the elven and the dwarven, it's really nice now that I'm getting that. I forget what level I'm on, 13 or something? 12. My horse is stabled outside of the city, but if I go outside, I'm going to end up stealing somebody else's horse because the game is stupid like that. What time is it? Oops. 7 p.m. Good. Fresh. Expert of Sneak can run or walk silently. It's my play. Do you like me? Oh, wait. I can get you some more? Cool. Don't like that. Alright, top and bottom don't like it. I wish I could say that. Don't you? You're wasting your breath. Don't talk such... I will bribe you. Good. Cool. Let's do this. And then you will sell things to me at four or fifty-five. How about that? Does that sound good to you? Do you have a weapon that I would like to use as well? You do not. All right. So I'll get you the dwarven arrows, dwarven bow, dwarven dagger, dwarven short sword. Give you all the elven arrows, elven warhammer, silver arrows, steel arrows. Yep. Um. I'll sell you the stuff that's in 100% condition. A good price for a good customer. Dwarven Curace, yeah, you definitely have that. Mithro Curace. Customer. It's got five, and that one has four. Is Mithro better? I'm assuming it would be. Farewell. 
Ancient Mithril. Oh, that looks nice. I got that off that bandit. Am I wearing a necklace still? Yes, I am. So I'm gonna put on the better one of that. I still have the wizard helmet. I should get that repaired, but it's kind of crap. Can't go into How much does it cost to repair equipment. that? Wizard helmet, nine gold. I can do that totally. All right, the rest of this around? I will. You won't find better prices in all town. Repair myself just for the skill. What is? Oh, those are mine. Yeah, I want some from you. Give me five pounds of repair hammers. That's good. You too. So, <laughs> I repaired that for nine gold, and it gives me one defense. Oh, I've got some good stuff on me, actually. Chainmail takes a lot to repair. Holy cow. Damn. Well, it's all right. I need some more uh, repair hammers. I need to get better at repairing. I'll take nine. Thank you. Eventually, repairing stuff and then sell it will be worth the hammers that I use. I would hope. I would hope. Damn. <clears throat> Alright. So, yeah, they're definitely worth more when I've got them repaired. For sure. And I still want to enchant that. Or I could get word of the wizard helmet. You got a good price. A good price for a good customer. Very good customer, thank you. Bye. So I think it's basically like the amount of durability that an item has, so like the leather doesn't have much durability. The fact that it's enchanted has nothing to do with it, luckily. I would have assumed it would, but apparently it doesn't. You're in rip Do you like Go me? Ahead. You don't like me enough. Okay, so top and I... left. Don't try to manip don't... No Yeah I get your good Yeah, you do that. Have a look around. You were... Let's go to find better prices in old Tamriel. Got some of the same staffs here, bro. Damn. It's a good staff. Do you want the base necklace of personality? Yeah, you want the base necklace of personality. You want these two. Alright, so there we go. That's all sold. You too. And we'll head back to Wayne and Priory because I'm back to 63 pounds. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, I've got some food stuff on me, but that's not going to affect me too much. Come on. All right. Mission. Should be like the first one, right? Deliver the amulet. There we go. Second one. Mithril armor. And a crappy leather helmet. I need more gold still, though. Before I can properly fix that. There's the rogue. Probably just gonna end up riding there now. Fucking horse. Damn, that, that needs to render. That looks like shit right now. There we go. A little bit better. What the heck is this? Oh, deal farm. It looks like it's been ravaged. We'll check the crops, and then we'll check to see if anybody's alive. I 
hate tomatoes. Successfully harvest the watermelon. Radish. Ooh. Take some radishes. I would assume plants actually regrow after a certain amount of time. That's something I would have that I would have to wiki. Carrots. Take carrots. I like carrots. I'll end up needing to see what the hull is of this. Watermelons are probably way a lot. More carrots. I grow a lot of carrots. There we go. I knew I missed one of those. The number of clicks didn't match the number of presses. Alright, what did I get? So I got one watermelon, where he's five pounds. I've got ten tomatoes, so that's two pounds. I've got sixteen radishes, one point six pounds. And I got lettuce. So I got five point five pounds there. And then carrots. I have <laughs> I have ten pounds of carrots. And I didn't even get to pick up flax. Oh. Interesting, it's locked. Rake. Are there people in here? I see two beds. Nobody's in them. Nobody's up and about. I see if there's a bed right here, and if there isn't, I can walk around freely. Nobody in the bed. Repair hammer, I'll take that. Another repair hammer, thank you. What are you? Sure to brandy. Sure to brandy. I like sure to look brandy. Just looking for some more stuff worth stealing. Oh, hey, Nerner. Nerner is definitely worth stealing. single piece of gold. Okay, can't interact with that. I will leave. There's nobody here. It's abandoned. Alright, come here, horse. Jump. Or don't. I just write this one, you can't tell them to jump while they're running and into things. It'd be nice if they eventually did a remake of Oblivion. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. But in a few years, it could use an update. Hello. Stable my horse. Might be here a while. Oh yeah, that's right. You come talk to him and he actually gives you, like, your starting supplies that you're supposed to use. Never bothered with that. I always just end up going and doing my own thing. I always end up storing my valuables in, like, chests and stuff, never in, uh, oh, some ingredients. Never in, like, the dressers and cabinets and things. Like the cupboards. I 
like the mushrooms going around here. Those are convenient. I'm not entirely sure what all these do. Eventually I might start hunting down like specific ingredients or like get excited for finding certain ones. But for now it's basically just like collect up all the stuff, get the alchemy skill up there and use it to make a bit of money. Chance of paralyzing. Yes? He's <clears throat> upstairs. Go ahead. Yay. Okay. Quit looking at me. Quit looking at me, you bitch. Why am I sliding backwards? Oh. Fine then, douche. Anything worth stealing? He needs a key. Oh, does he open that? I think he does. I'm Brother Joffrey. What? Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Yay. Stuff to sell. Alright, what we got in here? We got steel stuff, we'll take that. Um, we got the potions, take all of them. Got a scroll and just some crap armor. Take the leather boots because they're worth ten times. Alright. I'll be off. I'm not even bother trying to steal the last thing on that shelf. Now we are headed to Kavach, which is... Where the fuck is Kavach? Way down there. So that's going to take us quite a while. Riding from here. We, uh. Better go get my horse. Hi! It's going to be a long ride. Might level up a couple times on the way. Let's go. Hmm. 